today I'll be doing a signature dish of uh, from Lean Kitchen and that is the sushi sandwich. We'll be using some avocado, zucchini, it has to be thin and nice. I have some carrots, cabbage, you can use any kind of uh, salad leaves if you want. You can use brown rice, white rice, sticky rice also, depending on what you, uh, how healthy you want to go for. So I'll be using uh, red rice. The thing about this is that you need to really boil it in the starch water and, you know, get into a nice sticky consistency uh, into this. So this is, if you can see, it's really nice and sticky. So the sandwich needs to hold the shape, you know, so this really helps. And um, some soya sauce, white wine vinegar, a rice vinegar is also fine. I'm using wasabi. This is for uh, the yogurt because it has zero uh, sugar in it. It's just pure horseradish. And I'll be using Greek yogurt, black pepper powder, some lemon, and of course, some boiled chicken. You can shred it. You can use any kind of protein in this. Um, you can use uh, low fat cottage cheese, you can use tempeh or just add lots of vegetables just to be you know as healthy as you want to be. I'll be using nori sheets. So first things first, the ponzu dip uh, that goes with the sandwich. You need to keep it on medium heat. You'll be using one cup of soy sauce. You can even use mirin if you have. So right now I'm just using rice wine vinegar, some seaweed. You got to let it dilute. So in this, you can even add any kind of dried fish, some Japanese seasoning to this, you know, to enhance the flavor. You don't need to add any salt, uh, not necessary to add sugar, but if you feel like you want to add that little sweetness to it, you can add sugar-free or a little bit of honey and let it cook for some time. And once it's done, you pour it and drain out all of this into an ice bowl. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the wasabi sauce that I put inside the sandwich. Depending on how much heat you like in your wasabi, I like it really strong. So I'm using half a teaspoon of this right now and then later on I'll balance this. I'll be using my yogurt. It's really simple and it's really nice. I love that epigamia because it's thick and nice. It's got nice consistency. It's not too runny. Black pepper. Just a little bit of that and a little bit of salt. Just balance it out. See that it like mixes really well. Keep it okay. Taste it. It's good. Now what we're gonna do is the fun part. Use one sheet of this. This is the back end. Keep it clean. In this cooked black rice that I'm using, I'll be using a little bit of sweet rice water vinegar which i added with sugar free a little bit of that just to get that sweetness mix it really well then you take a ball of it see how nice and sticky you place it in the center spread it a little bit you can make it like a square shape and then you add some of your pink cabbage keep it very compact if you don't like to eat it raw, the cabbage, you can very lightly steam it and then run it under cold water. But don't let it be too spodgy and stuff. You can go very wild on adding your vegetables here. So some carrots, we're going to be adding some of the zucchini. Let's press it. And then chicken. So if you're not a fan of um, seaweed, you can try using rice paper also. But it's a little tricky because it tends to get a little sticky if, you don't, if you're not fast enough to do it. Some avocado, so you gotta press it a little bit and some of this. Oops. You can add cucumber, you can add bell peppers. Okay, so now this is how I'm going to be doing it. So it's very important. So you join both ends. One here. I'll be taking a little bit of this as a queen to stick on it very little and you go over it then you take another one you put it on both the sides the other corner you're gonna make it really tight but do not tear it it could tear there you go you're gonna wrap everything in and 
this is the shape that you want ever so slightly cut the top part just like this using this big one and here we go here you go look at this pretty little thing what i'm gonna do is i am gonna take some sesame seeds oops let's put some just decorate it and just spread some sesame seeds with a little crunch so there you go your very own sushi sandwich